Now it's Hannah. Uh, greetings to you all. Uh, we're here today uh, to share with you some Iroquois social dancing. Uh, the term Iroquois refers to the Six Nations. Uh, the Six Nations Confederacy, uh, originally the Five Nations Confederacy. Um, we refer to ourselves as the Haudenosaunee, the people of the Longhouse. Uh, so today, uh, the Six Nations that we're representing are the Mohawk, the Oneida, the Cayuga, the Onondaga, the Seneca, and the Tuscarora. So we're sharing with you today um, what we call Hatagainungi Yondage Ka, which is Songs of the Earth. So these are strictly uh, social dance songs that we're sharing with you today, uh, songs and dances. Uh, so these aren't ceremonial anyway, um, they're just for entertainment purposes. We believe our Creator gave them to us to entertain our minds and uh, pass time for the long winter months. So we're sharing with you today uh, just a handful of those songs and those dances. Uh, we have a lot of them that we'll do in our communities in different settings, um, social gatherings, uh, parties, things like that. And it's just uh, a traditional way that our people get together and uh, entertain one another. Uh, so at these social gatherings when we get together, um, the social will be uh, started with uh, an opening address. So in our way, uh, whenever we get together, and then any time that we gather, we, uh, we give thanks uh, to everything that our Creator gave us. Um, from the grasses and the, and the earth and the water all the way up to the winds and above, uh, to the sky beams, uh, to the sun and to the moon. So when that's done, we'll start off with uh, what we call Gata Show, or the Standing Quiver Dance. So at this time, we're going to have Marty Jefferson lead us off with what we call the Stomp Dance. So if 
you might be Tuscarora or Seneca or Mohawk, but if you're of the same clan, uh, we see each other as, as family, a you know, clan family. And so it was a way that uh, our communities um, stayed together. So each longhouse would uh, stay with their clan. And uh, was taken care of by, by the females and the mothers, the grandmothers. Um, they were responsible for, you know, raising our young and, and taking care of that. Uh, so to this day, um, we continue those ceremonies of, of giving thanks to um, our Mother the Earth and, you know, the women within our community and also what we believe to be the Three Sisters, uh, corn, beans, and squash, which is our uh, life sustainers. Uh, so we give thanks to that. And in our, in our social dance settings, we um, give thanks to women with what we call Eskandia Gynasty. So this is uh, the new women's shuffle dance.
Yeah, so I wanted to share with you that. Uh, you know, these days, uh, we still sing those songs, and, and we've even sped them up uh, into a competition style dance that we call the Smoke Dance. And we're gonna share with, we're gonna share that at the end of our program here. So that was the war dance. Um, you know, these songs, these dances, they all give, uh, they give honor and respect uh, to different, different things in our, uh, in our lifestyle and different things in the natural world. Um, so the song that we're gonna share with you next is um, what we call uh, Joaga Oima, which is uh, the raccoon dance. <clears throat> so this, uh, this gives honor and respect to the raccoon. And so as you watch the dancers, um, at one point in the song, uh, one of the dancers is gonna make a call to end the song. So we symbolize that as uh, the raccoon is ending the song. So this is what we call the raccoon dance. Uh, they took a real uh, strong liking to, to glass beads. 
So the quill work was replaced um, by the glass beads, and uh, some of our outfits here are, are really elaborate and beautiful, and uh, they have a lot of beadwork on them, some of them. And uh, our people um, express themselves, their thankfulness by putting flowers on a lot of their outfits, uh, different tribal designs that signify different stories for us. Uh, so a lot of these flowers and floral decorations um, are because we believe that uh, the Creator put those things here for us to enjoy. And so uh, we're just showing our, our love and our thankfulness uh, for all the things that He's given us. And as we look at the male outfits, we have uh, gustoats, so it would be a headdress. Uh, so these, uh, these headdresses are worn by the men, and uh, the feathers are going to represent what nation they belong to. Uh, so to my right here, your left, uh, is Heath Hill. He has uh, two feathers up and one feather down. So that represents that he's of the United Nation. Uh, we have Marty Jefferson the third here, and he's uh, Seneca. So he has one feather up. Same with his father, behind him is Seneca. And I'm Tuscarora. Um, so the Tuscarora Nation was the first nation, or last nation, to join the Iroquois Confederacy. And so uh, we have no equal feathers on our Uh The other one that might be uh, commonly known as the Mohawk, because they have three feathers um, straight up. The Anadagas have one feather up and one feather down, and the Cubas have one feather laid down. So that would be the Six Nations, uh, the Hoodie and the Shawnee. So as you look at the females on uh, regalia, you have um, a beaded collar, and uh, a dress, and skirt, and also leggings. Um, so this, once again, would be mostly traditionally uh, buckskin, but we've uh, adopted a lot of these fabrics, and make use of them. Um, also, we're all wearing moccasins. So, uh, yeah, the male outfit uh, has breech cloth and uh, leggings, uh, noisemakers for the dancers and the singers. Uh, so at this time, we're going to move forward. We're going to share with you um, a partner dance that we'll do at our socials, and we, we call it Ladies' Choice. So then our social dance gatherings, um, when this song is announced, uh, it's, uh, it's the women's responsibility to pick a partner to dance. Uh, so this is a couple's dance, and we call it the rabbit dance. So this time we're going to show you guys the rabbit dance. <laughs> Thank you. 
So earlier in the program, we shared with you guys on the traditional war dance. So to conclude our uh, programming right now, we're gonna um, show you what that dance has kind of evolved into. Uh, so we'll call it the smoke dance. So, uh, you know, throughout the Northeast now, different powwows, and even out West, you might find the uh, smoke dance category at a, at a powwow or a festival. Uh, so the smoke dance is a Haudenosaunee, of Haudenosaunee origin. Uh, the songs and the dances uh, come from our people, the Haudenosaunee. So um, we're going to bring them out uh, one by one, and uh, as I bring them out, I'll introduce them as well. So I guess we'll start with Heath Hill. He's of uh, the Oneida Wolf Clan. He's going to show us his rendition of the smoke dance. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. 